this is Kathy Crowder's Mountain, North Carolina, and this is Barn Quilts by Mountain Visions. I don't know if you can see that little pack laying there on the table or not, but look what we did with this particular barn quilt we're going to do today. You see that says glitter. It's a paint additive, and my client wanted it to shine. And so we put glitter in our paint. And let me see if you can see it. Can you see that shine? I can see that. It's in the black and the red. Can you see it? When it's in the sunshine, boy, it really stands out. But that's the barn quilt that we're going to do today. And we could not find a name for this pattern. The closest thing that I found in my books, and I asked on the International Barn Quilt site, it said, no, Barn Quilts International, it's a Facebook group, and you guys can join and find out so much information on that Facebook page. But anyway, um, no one there knew what the name of it was either, or, or they didn't answer me. And usually people on there, if you ask the question, they are so good uh, to take their time to look it up and tell you, you know, to tell you what you need to know. So they're really good. But anyway... In my pattern books, the closest thing that I could find to the name of this pattern was called Ruby Roads. And so that's what we're going to call it. It's a variation of Ruby Roads. And this particular uh, color choice was because this is the third one that this client is going to hang on a fence, and they're all done in the, this color selection, um, the color theme. They're different patterns. All of them are different patterns, but um, she she wanted it to all uh, all three of them on that particular part of her fence to be all different, uh, all the same colors but different patterns. I'll get that out. <laughs> So anyway, you probably noticed we had a double border on that one. So I'm going to measure my double border. And there, each border was one inch wide. So I'm marking my board, my, my uh, paper pattern, <laughs> and I'm using the back side of those flip charts so I could show you where I'm marking a little, little better because this particular pattern um, didn't need as many blocks as some of the other ones that I've done. So I'm marking it on my board. One and two all the way around. And then I'm going to connect it. All right, now on this particular pattern, after we get our border drawn, we need eight blocks. So we've taken away four inches by drawing this border. So we've got 20 inches to work with in the center. And we need eight blocks. So eight in the 20 comes out to be two and a half. So we're going to mark a tick mark every two and a half inches. There's two and a half and five, seven and a half and ten, twelve and a half and 
15 and 17 and a half and then at 20 is the last one so you got one two three four five six seven eight okay let's do it again we're marking at two and a half five seven and a half ten twelve and a half fifteen seventeen and a half and twenty One more. Well, that line looks crooked. Two and a half. I ain't doing anything about it. <laughs> Not now. Two and a half, five, seven and a half, and ten, and twelve and a half, and fifteen and 17 and a half. But it come out right. It's straight. Straight as it can be. This looked funny from where I was standing. Alright, now I'm just, all I'm doing is connecting my grid marks. Alright, so now here we go. We got our grid. We got eight inches, eight blocks that are two and a half inches wide so if you were doing a three by three you would just make sure you had eight blocks in the center and you would have to just divide it out and see how big those blocks would be all right so now i'll just go ahead and do this in red we're going to draw our pattern which is not going to take but a minute. So, we're going to go to our first block on the, on the left hand side and draw a line through the diagonally across it. And then we're going to go to our third block that's right, on third, one, two, three, at the bottom of it, and draw a line up to the third block on the left, the third row. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. So we went up three on the left and went over from the left to the right three and drew a line. We're going to do that on all four corners the third block to the third block first block to the first block and then I'll show you what you drew So, all right, then next thing, let's do this and then I'll show you what you, what you just drew. So right in the, in the middle here, we're going in an opposite direction. We're just going to draw a V, an upside down V. See, we just went up and down. And we're going to do that on all four sides all right you see what we got we drew this and we drew this V so we just drew all the places that will be we just drew all the places 
that's going to be our dark gray. Now, the rest of it is just a matter of drawing lines. We're going to go, and I'll draw these in different colors, so we're going to draw our red arrows. Or, I, I call them arrows. So you're going to go up two on both sides, and then we're going to go across, so we'll be on line three on the fourth block to the right and drawing our line diagonally. And then we did one on the left, on the right side. So here is our um, arrow right here. So we're going to do that all four corners. I mean all four sides. We're just drawing our arrows. So you're actually using your grid line as part of your pattern when you're drawing those sides. So if you've got a grid line on your board, you know, if, you, if you're comfortable enough, you wouldn't have to draw these sides because you've already got the grid line to make your mark with. All right, so that's the red. Now, that's these right here that we just drew. Now we're going to draw that one in the middle. That is, well, we're going to draw that one, and we're going to draw some the rest of our block. So I'm just going to use black to show you that. So here is the second block from the top left. We're in that corner. And we're going to go down all the way, going cross over that line, down through here, down through here, and all the way to this so we're going to go from that second one on the right, second one from the left, all the way down to the second one on the right. Up to and then at the, see what I said? up to and in that corner. You'll see it when I draw it. It's kind of hard to explain. So I'm just going to use the black one for that. I'm going to take a screenshot of that before I do anything else. You might want to do that. We're almost finished. This is just real simple. It's just kind of hard for me to explain for some reason today. So we're going to go all the way across. See this block? That's where we're going. <laughs> See that block? We're going from here to the end of that block. And we're going to do it again right here at this second one down at the corner of it to the corner of it. So we're just, we're actually crossing over those red marks at the top of our arrow. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. And here. So use the top of your arrows as your guideline and draw it to the end of the box. And there you have your pattern. Isn't that sweet? Just sweet as it can be almost. Well, you don't have it quite yet. Let me... Alright. Alright, let's 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 go on this row here. See this row? The only thing missing is a line here and a line 
here. So that makes your blocks. See? One, two, three. Now, these are guidelines. Just, just regular grid lines for you. And we're going to do that same thing on this side. Yeah. We're going to do that same thing on this side. And you have your pattern. And let me show you why we did that just now. You see, this row is this row. So there's your black, gray, red, gray, black. And then this row is this row. Black, gray, red, black, gray. Black, gray, red, black, gray. And these these little triangles here are your white and here's a there's the black box and another triangle so you can get the feel for it take a screenshot of that and i will just kind of scratch in the color on these blocks so you, it, no matter what colors you use just make sure like if you're going to use dark blue, that those are the dark blue. All right, so here is the black or a color <laughs> of your choice. All right, then here is the red. I don't know if this helps y'all or not. Might just make a mess. This one's red. And you can kind of see the arrows when I do it that way. That helps a little bit. And then I don't have a gray. So this pretend green is gray. Just pretend. So you have four lighter colors, and I matched my border with that light gray. And then I matched the outside border with the black. And the rest, and see the, all around here is the dark, dark gray. See, all around here is the dark gray. And the rest of it is white. So take a screenshot of that. And take a screenshot of that. And if you want to, I don't know why my glitter is leaking. This is called Henway Silver Holographic Matte. Well, it can be in, you could put it in matte, gloss, satin, any paint, but it's a paint additive. Uh, and you can actually put it in varnish, wood varnish too. But the difference in this is, and your regular glitter, what I read is regular glitter if you've got it it's going to sink to the bottom and this one don't i don't know if i can show you i don't even know if you're interested in this or not but i don't, probably don't have enough left in that cup to really show you much but it doesn't sink it keep it stays in your paint instead of all going to the bottom so while you're painting you're putting the glitter on and not having to stir it off the bottom. And then it's for exterior paint as well, so it's not like um, it's not it's not like regular glitter that's just gonna 
go away in the, out in the weather, if that makes sense to you. Here's the black. I don't know if it'll show up any better or not. See, you can kind of see it glistening. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I just love me some paint. All right. Uh, have I showed you the other colors? I don't think so. All right. So I use for my light gray. I used and this strip of the border, the inside border, I used gravity for my dark gray. I used uh, Metropolis. I used my favorite heirloom red here and my favorite black limousine black, limousine leather. And the white, I used ultra white because we wanted it to pop out and show the colors. So there you go. That's our Ruby Rhodes barn quilt. And again, if you know a better color and a, a better name for that pattern, let me know. And I have uh, a couple more coming up I think you'll like. I wanted to do some uh, simple patterns and I'm still working on the how-to series, but uh, I wanted to do a couple of simple patterns for you. And I got one coming uh, that's a simple pattern too, but it it's just, you're just going to love it. I mean, you're just going to love it. That's all I can say. You're just going to love it. You're going to have to stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Bye.